Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Restock straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video re review of Pinky Character or Pinky Streets Wild, Ar Wild Arms, the fifth Vanguard. And look, I don't know anything about Wild Arms 5. I don't know about the PlayStation 2. But I do know, hey, this is Pinky Street, Wild Arms, the fifth Vanguard, VF. <laughs> I don't know why they do that. Uh, yeah, you can read that in Japanese. This is Pink, Pinky Car character, or Pinky Street. And this is the, the two of them, Rebecca Streisand, if you can read the back there, and Avril Vent Fleur, French person. So you can see the back there. There's the package, really not too much. You can see this, Wild Arms, fifth Vanguard, right there. The black and white over here, that's Rebecca, that's Avril. You can see their stats here. She's only 16, 152. She's like 60 inches. She's tiny. Well, she's adolescent. Avril, maybe a little bit tart. Uh, so you can see her likes, dislikes, yada, yada. All right. Ben, Ben's project is the ones that do Pinky Street. So let's take a look at it. That's, the, that's that. Let's go ahead and look at the figures. They come with their nice little stands over here. And if you can read, that's... See Avril Vent Fleur, Wild Arms, the fifth Vanguard. So nice little stands right there. And of course, let's not forget, and her head does come off. That one's loose for some odd reason. But other than that, Rebecca Streisand. That's about the only mobility, and they have interchangeable parts. That's the thing about that, as you notice. And let me take her head off, you know, <laughs> not physically. But one of the things is it's already off, so might as well take advantage of that. Uh, these are interchangeable hairstyles, so you can see they do pop off. So you can get all the other figures in that line and, you know, replace their hair if you wanted. Yeah, let's do that. It'd be kind of neat. There you go. There's Avril. So now she's got some blonde highlights or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, whatever. Easy enough. And, man, these things, pigtails do come off. So it's like a kind of like a little Barbie doll or something. So you can accessorize, except they don't have that many accessories. Uh, same thing with good old Avril. So let's show you what they do have. I start with Rebecca. I like her first because she's a gunslinger. That's her specialty. Notice that they don't have arms. They just uh, have this little pistol, and you can see the little pistol right here. Eh, it's okay. Pain apps are all right. I mean, I only got this for a few bucks, uh, like ten or something like that. That's her accessory. As you can see, they got big pigtails. They do rotate, so you can kind of see that. So you can position them in whatever <laughs> wild fashion that you want to. Has green eyes, little rosy cheeks. So the detail on the face, not so bad. Head is on a ball joint, so it does move. Arms can move, but they're not really supposed to. Don't Waist does come off. Again, these are interchangeable, so if you want to take the waist off and interchange, so be it. Nice little pink boots. I like the peel, teal, and black. Um, Daisy Dukes. Look, notice the uh, attention that that reminds me of the Selecta ice cream uh, for you Philippine Selecta. Yeah, I think that's right. For you um, Pinoy people, I love Selecta ice cream. Every time I'm down in PI, I love to get that. But forget about that. So here's her detailing. It's a cream color. Pigtails falling off. So yeah. It's a two-for-one deal, so it's not too bad. So you can kind of kind of make that out. So, yeah, no problem. Set her to the side. Let's go ahead and look at the better figure, I think. Uh, I forget, Avril. Avril Lavigne here. Much more detail in the hair, so I like that. Uh, the painting is all right. And that's one thing. She has this cool-looking sword as you know, Final Fantasy-esque here. Kind of like that gun score sword that Squall had back in the day. If you remember, FF8 comes apart too easy, though. That's what I don't like. So it just positions on her hands. And the hands is about it. Of course, articulation is just the head. But, yeah, rosy cheeks, blue eyes. I like it. It's uh, not that bad. The green kimono-looking thing and whatever. I like these little huge boots that they have and the stands. Not necessary for... Actually, it is kind of necessary. So the detail on her is much more. Much more. So it's not bad. So you're going to set that down. If you can get these for a few bucks, that's all. That's good. I wouldn't pay the full price, which usually is about, you know, 20, 30 bucks. But she happens to have a little fire whip or whatever the heck this is. I don't know if I have it positioned right. There we go. So you can interchange that part. And it's kind of neat. 
Again, I don't know the Wild Arms figures, so you're going to have to forgive me. I have no idea who these people are. Size comparison. Here's G.I. Joe. So she, they're taller than G.I. Joe. Well, then again, she's not in the stand, so they're about the same size. And I, I kind of like that. I kind of like them. So let me give them yeah, six and a half out of ten. Not that bad, but hey, they're they're little Barbie dolls or something. That's all I got, and I catch you all next time.